Hello there, and uh, welcome to my playthrough of uh, Mass Effect uh, with th the mode Mass Effect Updated Improved Textures mod. Well, this has been in the work for some time now. I was gonna finish my uh, Mass Effect 3 playthrough, but I'm not even sure it's gonna work out. So let's try to start from the beginning and uh, do Mass Effect uh, with the this great mod by uh, well it's a CDAMGC or he's also known as Commander C3 Anderson or something so there you go C3 Anderson thanks and now uh, we're gonna try to uh, run this this game I've added a few of his suggestions, but I won't be using his uh, reshade mud or something like that. So here we go, Mass Effect 1 with the biggest, baddest mud out there that I've encountered yet. One of the common ones from Mass Effect 1, but that I know of, that is. But it's freaking amazing. I hope sound will be all right. I guess you'll tell me in the comment if it isn't. <laughs> it's gonna be taking some time because uh, before I can. Uh... Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Inspect Classified sound, right? information requested. Okay, there we go. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Oh, there we go. It's already much better than uh, what the normal skin would have been. Just from here, I can I can tell. Okay, so this just gives you the standard uh, face, along with the being a soldier, and that's not what I want. Uh, records are incomplete. Not too sure. I might be John Shepard, but I'm gonna be custom male. Please log in to access your profile. John Shepard, same face, but not the same profile. Warning, data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. So, here I gotta go uh, poster boy because in Mass Effect it's very very important unless you're planning on using uh, a few glitches it's very important that you uh, you always keep to the same uh, uh, alignment so either you go Renegade or Paragorn for reason that you'll see later that I won't spoil but that has a huge reach into Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3 so I'll go Spacer. psychological profile. And war hero. Confirm military specialization. Because usually I'll go for something more Paragorn. I love the Renegade too, don't get me wrong. But I do it in Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 3, yes, but in Mass Effect 1 it's very important. Okay, so here we see that we have the old skin. Soldier is okay! Engineer loaded, but kind of cut out. Oh, it's... Well, I guess we'll see. I don't really care about the skin anyways. Uh, so I thought I was going for Sentinel Confirm this one. facial identification. Because I never go for this last, so... Okay, so... I'll keep the same face because I think it's a higher definition. But... Yeah. Profile reconstruction complete. So here we go. S John Shepard, Spacer, War Hero, Sentinel. Udina's gonna be happy about that and is not gonna say something like, Is that the kind of man we can see uh, helping us? Uh, and then Anderson would say, Anderson would say, uh, Oh, that's the only kind that can, but that's not gonna happen because he's a War Hero and a Spacer. 
Identification confirmed. Okay, so veterans, the most we can go for now. We don't want auto level up either for the squad or ourselves. Target assist. Yes, maybe because in Mass Effect 1, combat is so broken. Maybe I should put high there, but no, let's go for something a little bit more hard. Uh, squad power usage, sure, I want them to manage themselves a little. Maybe, I don't know, yes, I'll, I'll keep it for now. If it's a problem later, we'll see. And this is all good. Now, I'm gonna shut up for a few seconds. Well, what about Shepard? He's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of his life. Military service runs in the family. Both his parents were in the Navy. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting on. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Ethan Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Yep, I get that your name's a joke. He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't what? possibly imagine why. <laughs> okay. Here we go, Codex. Whatever. I don't think we're gonna read through this. Mark all entries viewed. 
maybe later I'll read a few of them, but not right now and not these. Okay, let's see. Let's see in the settings what do I have. Window mode? Nope. Particle effect? High. Yes, sure. Dynamic shadows. Let's try it. Actually, and this. Yeah, okay. Film grain. Is that not motion blur? Fil film grain is something that's actually mudded by the, the mud I have. Actually modified by the mud I have, should I say? Instead of uh, making a pleonasm, if that's even a thing in English. I'm French, so if something so sounds weird, that might come from it. Uh, not applied. No, I don't want this. I want to apply. There you go. Okay. Let's see. Anything else? Squad. Oh, let's let's do it right now. I didn't even know I could do that. Let's be charming, because, you know, that's exactly what I need. I need to unlock this as soon as possible, because some things you just can't get out of if you don't have all the charm or all the intimidate you want, so... I don't have a choice, really. Journal? Oh, prologue. Yeah, sure. What about assignment? Oh, can, can I not see assignment? There you go. Okay, perfect. Let's stop uh, kidding around. Oh, there's the grain. I don't know about you guys. It's a bit better than you it used to be, I think. I told you, I just saw him. He marked by like he was on a mission. The inspectors are always on a mission. And we're getting dragged, right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. Yeah, sure. But I don't think I like that grain too much, so let's get back to it and remove it. I'm sorry about that, guys, but uh, I'm just uh, getting around to whatever works best for us in this scenario. Let's see. Okay, I think... Oh, there it is. Much, much better. I don't like grainy things, I guess. But, uh... Oh, look at this. It's so amazing what he's wearing right now, Presley. Feels right. Feels quite right. Oh, uh, I was hitting space. There you go, E. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sure, but uh, what's that arguing about? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. Yeah, I know. I just tell you to do just do your job and whatever, but... You know, I gotta be all Paragorn. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Do you have a problem with the Captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated Special Forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Sure. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting-edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper. Less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Well, neither am I, but this is military, so, you know. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the Captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Okay. There we go. 
It's not the kind of place Spectre's been. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from the Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. Yep, he does. Let's speak to both of them at once because, you know, I can choose, but it's still gonna be the same. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. <laughs> Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Hmm. So what do you guys think? Think he'll stay cold under fire? Hint, hint. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Sure. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. Uh-huh. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. You're a war hero, right? Held off an entire enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed? That's the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Yeah, sure. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Kind of blowing you off there. What happens if I still speak to them after that? Sir? Yes, Commander, is there something you need? Oh, there you go. Um, what if... What can you tell me about Nihilus? Oh, there we go. Turians are generally... Well... Okay, okay, okay. I hope we get a chance to see him in yeah, action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodbye, Commander. You're not gonna see him, I think. I don't know why, but... I think you you ought to take a bench here. Oh, there you go. I'm not a CEO. Okay, sure. Oh, there it is again. The big blur I spoke about. Okay. How's... What's gonna happen if we... Change... This? I don't know. What if I change the resolution? I don't know. Maybe? I don't know how to change this. There we go. Apply. Maybe, maybe we're gonna be okay. What happens if I do this? Oh, there you go. That is so gnarly. Why the hell would this shit happen? What if I go back and go into... There it is. There it is. Okay. 
I guess. We're being had with this, guys. Dynamic shadows of? It's not dynamic shadow. So I guess... Dynamic shadows goes on again. And I still have this shitty bug. I'm gonna have to show it to anybody like that cares about it. That is so weird. If anybody else had this bug before, please, please tell me about it. I really don't know what to do with this. Well, just for... Just for the cinematic, I guess. I'm gonna go back into this shitty definition. Oh, there you go. See how low quality that is. It's so shitty. I'm not very happy with this. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Yeah, you bet. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Yeah. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? It's not very safe. Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Yeah, I got that. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. So, what I can see for right now is that we still get a bit of the mud. And Shepard's armor just keeps on switching from the the nice looking one to the regular shitty looking one so you know there must be a reason you didn't tell me about this sir this comes down from the top commander information strictly on a need to know basis uh, yeah. a research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation it was Prothean I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago their legacy still remains the mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best <laughs> reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Ha! <laughs> Nihilus and Anderson got so pissed when I said, Oh, we should have kept it for ourselves. Then... I, then... Anderson is like, oh shit, diplomatic problem incoming. <laughs> wow, let's see, I guess. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. You did? Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I actually like the Turians very much. I think they're a bit like the humans in a way. A bit more military, but they are kind of the newcomers in the console, like we might get to be later, you know, if if anything goes right, you know. And it's just it's just better if we uh if we get to be um, more 
like them, I guess. We we have to work together, is what I'm trying to say here. Because, you know, um, actually there was a war between Turians and uh, humans, but um, actually they are cooper cooperating for something big like the Normandy, so just shows how very alike we are with them. And, you know, it's very advanced tech, and usually the Salarians are the ones with advanced tech, but we did it with the Turians, so it's kind of important that we get along with them. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. I'll just ask around for What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. We do. And you know what? I think it's very nice that we have... Um, that it would be very nice, I mean, that we get some something of an expert. Someone that's an expert, I guess, is what I should say. About the Proteans. So I guess we'll try that. You know, find something that could know them and understand them better than the textbook explication we just got from Anderson. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species, and after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Might be. Might be known. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Beacon is important, but so is bacon. Like who? <laughs> the Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. Sure. What is The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden- Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. out after that no calm traffic at all it just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold of 38.5 yeah. status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold.
Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Then we go to drop point two. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Okay. Here we go. Going back to 1980p. 1920, I guess, by uh, 1080. There we go. Should be much better looking. There we go. Oh, the Ship perimeter secure, up. Commander. Okay. Looking much better. There we go. So, you know. Let's uh, give talents to Mr. Lanko here. And Jenkins will do later. In case. Oh, there we go, Sentinel. Let's just do this for now. Okay. okay this okay. place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. Am I a turret? Damn! Bullseye. Oh! So that's... That's the HUD. Shift is for running. But doesn't run as fast as in combat. Ooh, knee high. In the bug. That's BOG. Okay, and we need E. There we go. Recoil damper, improved sighting. Can we mud stuff right now? Equipment? Let's see. What do I have right now? I'm not gonna be using this much. Okay. So, stability? Sure. Uh, I'll take stability over accuracy. Okay. So that's just one of them. Perfect. What about this one? It's just... I'm in this one. Oh, that's so shitty. I don't have anything for this. Okay. And, um... No, not this. Save, actually, is what I want to do right now. Should have saved before, damn it. Didn't think about it once more. I really should have. Because I want to do something about that bug we just had. Okay. Okay, we can't go that way. If anyone knows the key for vaulting, please oh tell God. me. What happened here? Well, they're trying to have a sunbath, aren't they? Other people dead here. Okay, I said we should save. We saved. And I'm gonna stop it here and record the rest in another video. So until then, take it easy.